Anthony Edwards is the NBA's next big superstar. Whether it be by a swagger on or off the court, it's pretty easy to tell that he grew up in the city of Atlanta, Georgia. Born Anthony Devontae Edwards, he was granted the infamous nickname Ant-Man by his father as a child. During his high school summers, he spent his time along the AAU circuits playing the best talent high school basketball had to offer. And what we see now is only a product of a guy who became used to the spotlight from day one. He was named a four-star recruit in 2016, and when he made the transfer from Thurrell High School to Holy Spirit Prep Academy, he further solidified himself as one of them dogs going into college. En route to committing to the University of Georgia, Edwards became a five-star recruit, top five player, and the number one shooting guard in the 2019 high school recruiting class. The question which always arises with elite high school talent is how quickly will this guy's raw talent translate to a more sophisticated style of basketball conducive to winning? And while the team wasn't a national championship contender, Anthony Edwards stuck out like a sore thumb in regards to NBA scouts. While at Georgia, Edwards racked up 19 points per game, 5 rebounds, and a little under 3 assists with a steal as well. Edwards was intriguing as a prospect due to his ability to dribble, drive, defend, create his own shot, and provide a serviceable yet streaky 3-point shot and stretches. This was more than enough to place him as the lock is the number one pick in a draft which featured James Wiseman and LaMelo Ball. The Timberwolves were starting a new era with the newly formed combination of Ant-Man and Carl Anthony Towns heading the team. But as a guy who's here from the future, they've been struggling to try to get over the hump still. Despite the Timberwolves missing the playoffs in his rookie year, Anthony Edwards showcased flashes, especially in a game versus the Suns where he scored a then-career high 42 points, becoming the third youngest player to score 40-plus points in NBA history. These flashes were enough to make fans happy with the selection, but Edwards would end up finishing second in the Rookie of the Year race behind LaMelo Ball. Now in his second year, the T-Wolves' most successful year in his era up to this point, Ant-Man would show even more flashes, which was evident in his career-high 49 points scored in a matchup versus the Spurs. And although the Timberwolves were unfortunately bounced in the first round in this second year, Anthony Edwards still chimed in and showcased even more flashes with a 36-point playoff debut against the Memphis Grizzlies. However, Edwards continued to put the work in as it was evident he didn't like the feeling of losing playoff games, if any game at all. And while Edwards once again continued to raise his efficiency in multiple phases in year three and even get his first all-star nod, the Timberwolves regressed in their team success even after making a massive trade for star center Rudy Gobert. It was a bad trade in my opinion. However, like many teams in his career, Edwards stuck out like a sore thumb once again on a team who was not the best. His notoriety skyrocketed to new levels after appearances in films such as Hustle. Hey, is it legal to have a kid with your mom, Miss Man? Because we don't roll like that over here. Hey, I know you hear me. And his high-flying, posterizing dunks on the court. I stated before that Anthony Ellis is not a fan of losing, especially in the playoffs. And from what we've seen, there's a pattern which indicates that Anthony Ellis is preparing for a massive jump into year four. As if showing flashes of greatness wasn't enough, He's cut his hair and is beginning to have a scary facial resemblance to Michael Jordan. <laughs> what we got to say about that? So let's fast forward and discuss what we know right now about Anthony Edwards and how he's been performing up to this point. He's fresh off for a 34-point outing in a comeback win versus Germany in the FIBA warm-ups. He's already been coined as the unquestioned leader and the star of Team USA. We've seen it by the performances. And I think that what we're seeing in this jump in the year four what we're going to have from Anthony Edwards because his drive is different. Like I said, this is a guy who's not fond of losing and defensively. I think that's the biggest thing that has shocked me when looking at these warm-up games for Team USA because he's guarding the ball. He's running through screens. He's doing everything to make an effort defensively and showing that he can be that guy. And we talk about some of the all-time greats, guys who were in their prime. We talk about the shooting guards. We can go Dwayne Wade. We can go Michael Jordan. All of those guys were great defenders. And I think for Anthony Edwards to truly assert himself as one of the best basketball players in the NBA to really jump into superstardom, it's going to be that two-way progression. I know that he can score the basketball. I know that he can drive. I know that he can shoot and pull up from the mid-range. Everything, that's already a given. But defensively, if he kicks into that second gear, we're talking about a guy who has the potential in the athleticism to be very scary. Now, understanding with some of the guys on the team, like Jaden McDaniels, like Rudy Gobert, and Cat, 
They kind of have a structure right now. But with the season approaching in the wings, along with the massive contract extension, which we just touched on, and which brings newly formed expectations for not only this team, but Anthony Edwards, I think Ant-Man is in prime position to take the infamous jump into superstardom. But it's becoming time to win, and it's coming up fast. And that means putting the best team possible around Anthony Edwards. And what I mean in saying that is even if it means letting go of some fan favorite pieces.